Hello, welcome to a new video. In one of my last episodes, I showed you how I've composed the music for the trailer for the upcoming Planet Time show to the stars. Here is a short look. But today you want to talk about the mastering. So here is my master chain and you see my last plugin is the precision limiter by Universal Audio just for gaining up around 9 dB. So how do I start? It's not always the same master chain or the same plugins. Uh, sometimes it depends on the genre, my mood, and so on. And I always try something new um, and what is the best. So here I started with the FabFilter Pro Q3, just reducing some of the low mids. And you can see I reduced nearly 1 dB and then I activated the dynamic EQ for working just a little bit when these frequencies are coming. Next is the free tool OTT. And let's just turn into 3%. That is, it's difficult to do it. Okay, here we are. And perhaps you think, well, it doesn't do anything. Now let's bypass the plugin and then activate and deactivate. You have to be very be careful because uh, you can do too much at the first time. It sounds great and you turn it up and up and then you say, well, it's too much. So uh, I turn the death up and then high and low. Let's try it. So now it's not just making sound, it's getting louder and louder. Depends on you what you want, but for me it has been too much. Just a little bit, just tipping it a little bit. And let's listen again. Next is a tool I tried and sometimes I use it and sometimes not, the Galfos. So this one is, um, yeah, it's, it's checking what kind of frequencies are masked and then brings them back. I didn't want to, to use it at the low frequencies, so I moved this to here. When I'm here, all the frequencies um, are used, but I just want to start nearly here. And you see, it's just a little bit um, so sometimes I prefer to use um, multiple plugins and just do a little bit. So I can rise up, uh, recover. But 
in my opinion, this is too much bass. Okay, so now I got three plugins and let's turn them on and off. So, and, uh, yeah, I want to stay at this one the whole time. So we always got the limit activated. Okay, so next is the Brainworks Digital V3. Um, here I like a few things. At first, the stair width, just a little bit, again, dipping. Um, here I'm at 112%. And next is the Monomaker. So you see, um, I'm at the low, low, low frequencies. So let's uh, try the knobs. And for getting more brightness, I raise up the high frequencies, but just at the stereo section. You can use it here, and you can use present shift. That's what I did mostly here. So just a little bit on the side signal. And the last one, the last one here is ozone. So on here, at first we've got uh, this equalizer and um, yeah, reducing some of the low mids again and adding some highs. looks very much but you see the gain is 2.3 db it's not as much um, as it looks okay so um here we got the dynamics and i didn't use them so sometimes it's okay to use a compressor when there is a lot of percussion but here there is no percussion and for me, there's been no need to use a compressor. Next uh, is the dynamic cue. But you see, there's uh, nothing going on. Okay, here we got the maximizer. And because I had the precision limiter here, I reduced the output signal. Okay, so let's see how it sounds with ozone. And 
you've got to be careful because um, when you're using uh, this one, the threshold, it's just louder and it seems to sound better, but that's not a truth. So I reduce it here so I can compare it really. Okay, now we've got uh, five plugins and let's bypass them and then activate. One plugin that I've tried is the Mac EQ uh, by Plugin Alliance. But um, I guess I tried it before Ozone and then it, it has been too much for me. So I, I don't need so much presence. Perhaps I can reduce this one. So this is my master signal chain of this project. When you like this video, I would be very happy about every thumb up. When you get some question or suggestion, just leave a comment and see you next time. Bye.